All right, so we know what we wanna do. What we wanna do is that whenever I click fill, I click on the color and then I click on the canvas, I want to fill the canvas with that color, okay? I don't wanna detect any more drawing events. So we know what I want. Now, how do we do it? Let's look at the documentation. Look at this beautiful, beautiful thing. It says, fill rect, draws a filled rectangle at X and Y, whose size is determined by the width and the height. So let's just try this for a second. As soon as this loads, let's do context that fill rectangle rect uh, x i don't know 50 y 10 i don't know width 100 height 40 i don't know and let's see what's up if we refresh look at that we're immediately rendering a rectangle immediately and it's there look at that i'm drawing inside of it but it doesn't work Huh, interesting, huh? Look at the black, it's a different black. It's not the black from here. Look at that, blue, let's change this to blue. Blue, but the rectangle is not blue, the rectangle is black. All right, so we know what fill rect does. X, Y, how with, how um, fat and how tall. But it doesn't take the value of stroke style. So let's look, instead of, it shouldn't be stroke style, it should be Maybe field style. Stroke is for lines. Maybe field style. That's maybe what we need. So drawing text, line styles, text styles. This one. Fill and stroke styles. Field style. That's what we want. We're having stroke style right now. We want field style. So here, let's just do context. Field style. Green. And let's refresh and see what's up. There you go, you see, it works. So it's about fill style. Now you might ask me, Nicolas, what happens if I change the context here? Fill style, purple. In Canvas, everything works from top to bottom. So for example, if the fill style is red and you draw something, and then you change the fill style, and then you make another rectangle, it will change. As you can see here, we are drawing, which is cool. We're drawing two rectangles inside of the canvas, right? But the fill style changes and it doesn't affect the previous one, okay? So we know how to make it happen, let's do it. Here, on handle mode click, all right? I think after this, we're done. All we have to do, is copy the current color, the current stroke style, right? We need to copy that into the fill style. And let me just take back everything I did in case I fucked up the colors. There you go. Right? So now what I want to do is that here, if filling is true, all I want to do is do context, Fill style is the same as context stroke style, okay? Stroke style, remember, stroke style is this one, the one we catch from here, okay? Or even better yet, you, we don't have to do this bullshit. We can just say, when somebody clicks the color, we're going to set the stroke style and the fill style to the color. That's even better. That's even more beautiful right there, all right? So no matter what happens, if we're filling or if we are clicking, we have the same style there. Cool. I like that better. And let's initialize also the fill style with the same color. So let's make a default variable here. You could ask me, Nicolas, when do you start putting stuff in variables like this? I actually do it when I have to repeat it. If I see that I have to use this here as well, that means it probably should be here, all right? That's just a rule of thumb. And there we go. 
So now we have stroke style and fill style, they're the same. And now all we have to do is we need to add a one more event listener about clicking, clicking the canvas, all right? And this reminds me, we should have a different, maybe we should have a different pointer. Maybe the arrow is not a good pointer, I don't know, whatever. So now we're gonna do canvas dot add event listener, click handle canvas click. All right, let's make this function happen. Function handle canvas click. We don't care about the event. And all I wanna do is then create a rectangle. So how do we do it? Context. Forgot. Fill rect. Fill rect. Well, rect. Uh, we start from the corner of zero to zero. And how big? It should be as big as the canvas. And the canvas is 700. Awesome. So now here we're just gonna do canvas size, canvas size, or also we can use the context. No, we can use the canvas to give us the size, right? For example, here we are changing the canvas size, but if we only call this, we are just getting it. So we can also do this, canvas width and canvas height. That's whatever, whatever you want. I think both will work. In my case, 700, 700. And let's check this out. So we refresh, nothing happens. And now I click and I fill it up. Awesome. Let me change and I click and I fill it up. And it works. I click and I change color and I fill it up. So it's working. The click event in handle canvas click is working. The problem is that maybe I also want to paint. So, that's why, look at that. That's why we need the filling variable that I did before, all right? So let's go here and let's do if filling. Then we're gonna do this, else nothing. So now if we refresh, I'm clicking and it doesn't work. Right? But now I click fill and I click and it works. It works, it works. Now I'm gonna click back to paint. And now I'm painting. It's freaking working, people. I don't know about you, but it's, it feels nice to be able to be so powerful in JavaScript. All right, I think that's it for this one. I will see you on the next one. What else are we missing? What else are we missing? Filling, painting, changing the size. The last thing is saving. All right, see you on the next one. Bye-bye.